Hello guys, today we will finish our second part of our painting for our diptych inspired by Judith Scott. We are also finalizing our National Disability Employment Awareness Month. And remember that even though Judith had a disability, she was still able to succeed and become an artist. I hope that no matter what day, month, or year it is, we can still celebrate people with disabilities because we can always celebrate others. And remember to always be kind and respectful to those around you. Let's get started. You are going to need some water, your paintbrush, our watercolors, and a little paper towel. So I am going to start on this side over here. And what we need to do is, since we did the cool colors last time, we are actually going to be working with the warm colors this time. So what are warm colors? Well, think about a very sunny day. What kind of colors would you see in a sunny day? Yellows, reds, orange. Those are the colors that we will be seeing in a sunny day. So let's get started with the coloring. So go ahead and dip your paintbrush into a little bit of water and wipe it. And you're going to go into the yellow. Now last time we did six uh, little wipes. This time we are going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Only on the yellow so that way we have more pigmentation. Now three times three equals nine. So we're going to be using our watercolors nine times. We're going to be dipping it in nine times. After we do that, remember to be using the tip of your paintbrush to paint. You're using the tip of your paintbrush to spread out that paint as evenly as you can. And remember, we're not holding it like a pencil from the bottom. We are holding it towards the top part. If we need more, we will just simply put more water so that we have more paint. We can spread our paint. Now let's go ahead and wash it, putting in some water wiping it in our towel getting a little more water wiping it and now let's use maybe an orange one two three one two three now if you noticed here i tried to use a pattern and I try to make sure that I didn't have two colors that were the same one to another. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now that you are done, your painting should look like this. You should have a warm color side and the cool color side. And now, when you are done, you can go back to the other side if you want to. But should first, go ahead and get rid of this water and get some clean water so that way this side gets, uh, gets the paint that you need to. And you can go over it once again that way it looks more vibrant so you can always do that but make sure that it's completely dry before you go and give it another coat to your painting when you're done that is all you have to do and if you see some marks of pencil you can gently go around and just simply erase them that way you have a neat and beautiful artwork I'll see you next time and thank you so much for creating art with me this week. Bye!